Every time I step into this travel trailer, I'm blown away. And you know that doesn't happen very often. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the honey badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is a Forest River Flagstaff Microlite 25 BSDS. So for those of you that don't know, Rockwood and Flagstaff are practically the same travel trailer. There's very minuscule pinky nail size differences between the two. I'll go over that as well. If this is the first time that you have seen my channel, this walkthrough is about five to 10 minutes long, depending on the size and how much is inside the RV. And there's not a bunch of special effects or special editing or anything of that nature. So let's get started. All right, first off, you got a power tongue jack. You're gonna have two five gallon propane tank standard, but you can upgrade them to the bigger tanks. You have an area where you can put two group of 24 12 volt batteries. In fact, at my dealership, that is standard. We do that on everything. Uh, that is uh, Forest River, has an inverter, prep for an inverter. We put two batteries standard uh, within our prep. Big pass-through storage. I didn't open the other side because it's windy and rainy and snowy, uh, but you get a table. I'll show you where that's for later. You also get your grill that is standard, two lights, things of that nature. Now, the weight, Let's stand up here. If we go to the weight sticker here, as we always do, the uh, GVWR of the travel trailer is 7660, so 7,660 pounds, 3,500 pound axles. And if we sneak down here, it gives you the dry weight of 5,900, I'm sorry, 5,959 pounds with a total length bumper to bumper of 25 feet, 10 inches. So if you have an older half ton truck, this really works for you. So it's under 26 feet, has frameless windows, two uh, slide outs. You also have a propane electric refrigerator. I can already tell because of the vents outside. You have a black tank flush, outside shower. It's prepped for backup camera and it has the ladder on top already. By the way, slowly but surely, guys, this is gonna go away, ladies and gentlemen. That's gonna go bye-bye pretty soon. You have a huge outside kitchen with the bigger refrigerator. Just remember, this refrigerator only works when you're hooked into power or generator. It does not run off the battery. You get a sink with it. We'll also open, I'm sorry, open up this cabinet. And it's got some storage on the outside two burner stove let's go ahead and close this now you have a big power awning i did not put it out this time because again it's very windy out here today we've had snow we've had rain it's been a lot of fun 10 gallon hot water heater that's a propane or electric hot water heater and when we go inside by the way this does have solar it is inverter prepped you have theater seating with cabinets above. Now, these cabinets are probably the thing that's the least likely thing I like about this particular floor plan. Because to me, the only thing you can really squeeze in here because of the height of the cabinet door are maybe some plates, maybe some shorter bowls, papers. To me, it felt like it was a waste. Like, you didn't need to put those cabinets in. Because as you'll see, there's a lot of cabinet storage everywhere in the trailer already anyway. So it just felt like that was kind of a waste to put that in there. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Again, eight cubic foot propane electric refrigerator. My favorite fridge, which is going bye-bye at the end of 2025. It sucks. Pantry, nice big pantry, deep Lots of layers to it. And then down here is your access to your water. So you can access your water pump, you can access your uh, water pipes, things of that nature. Kitchen counter space <clears throat> for being a small travel trailer, lightweight, really good. Uh, I think the prep space is amazing. I think the drawers are nice, deep. No, it's not sold yet, we just keep them in there. 
and they just the, the drawers open and close so nicely very good quality trailer good quality build flagstaff and rockwood do great jobs with their travel trailer build good stuff they even put the bigger oven inside and of course your standard three burner stove now, where you're going to find your plug-ins is you obviously have one over here, but you also have the option to have plug-ins right there, including a USB charging area. Again, one other thing I don't like, and none of them are perfect. Some of you have expressed some good opinions about the two-piece sink. I love those opinions. It just goes to show us that there's different strokes for different folks. I'm a fan of the one-piece sink because, again, if you haven't heard this before, I love tortilla soup, chili, pozole, all those type of Mexican dishes. You need tall pots uh, to be able to do it. Hard to fit that tall pot inside a two-piece sink. But I do understand the argument behind the two-piece. I think the comments from other videos were very cool. Keep them coming. That was good stuff. And then the adult liquor beverage area. Small microwave. Again, standard size, 32 inch TV. Now, a lot of people complain about the size of the television when they walk in here. Well, I wish I had a bigger TV. Well, then you really, don't take this the wrong way, guys, but if you need a bigger TV, you don't need to be camping. I mean, camping's about going outside, right? Now, let's just sit in the recliners real quick. They're gonna be, pull one, two, three, ah! Oh. And then they electrically, the back seat goes down. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, so your fireplace immenses like an electric heater. It's also ambiance. We'll turn it on real quick. There you go. It's very pretty. We're gonna do the bathroom last, but just look at all the cabin storage. I mean, that's why I said those cabinets above the recliners feel like a waste. Residential size, queen size bed, walk around. You can access it from two points, which is the two points that are most important. And then you have great closet space, shirts, pants, and of course, hangables on two areas. There you go. Nice and deep and tall. You got USB charging station and you have two outlets by the bed if you decide to add an inverter to it, because it's wired for one, then you can have your C, uh, CPAP machine on while you're in bed without running a generator and running it off the batteries at night. This is just standard stuff above the bed. Oh, I'm being slower than I normally am. Let's walk around on the other side. By the way, that mattress is a pile of crap, all of them. Every mattress in this industry is just junk. You know, the, if you look here, the brand name is called Sorta. You know, sort of a mattress. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. More hangable closet space. I don't know who they buy these mattresses from. It's like, really, guys, when you're spending 35, 36 grand on a high line travel trailer, don't you think you could have put a nicer mattress in it? And it's everybody, man. It's. It's not just Forest River or not just Keystone or not just any of those guys singled out. It's the entire industry. It just kind of bums me out when they do silly stuff like that. Okay, bathroom is humongous. This is the selling point of the century because you got that deep, big cabinet space for linens, towels. You could almost full time in this trailer if you're looking to travel, not to live in in one spot, but if you're looking to travel around, go to national parks, you know, Bryce Canyon, Zion, uh, Joshua Tree, etc. This is a great floor plan to do it in. You got tons of storage, easy to tow. You don't need a big old truck to do it. You can, most SUVs or lightweight trucks can tow this sucker. I like it. Anyway, in the top right-hand corner is going to be another amazing travel trailer walkthrough video if you want to click there. Any questions, contact information is inside 
uh, the description box below. And as I always say, RV stands for toolkit and sense of humor.